What percent of the population are leaders? Only 2%, which means that it's not easy to lead with both your example and your voice. Tamika Ketching breaks down why using your voice is essential when it comes to leadership. And what's the key to being a good leader? The key to being a good leader is communication and mean positive reinforcement. You know, because I think when you hear the word leadership, you think of somebody that's just like, I got to get the best out of them and I'm going to yell and yell and yell. And people don't respond to that. Not everybody does. And so for me, it's been a challenge just from a communication standpoint. How do my teammates want me to communicate with each one of them? Some of them like to be challenged. I'm a challenger. If you tell me, oh, you know, I know you can't guard her, that's a challenge for me. So I'm going to go out and I'm going <laughs> to make sure that I guard this girl to the best of my ability. You know, and then some people like to be yelled at. Some people, you just have to pull them to the side and calmly tell them, you know, what they're doing good and what they're doing bad and, and how, uh, how they can help the team. So what did Tamika say the best question you should ask yourself was, how do my teammates want me to communicate with each one of them? Why do I love this question? Who's your focus on? Your teammates. Who's it not on? Yourself. So how do we find the answer to this question? Let's look at this. In our feature with Brad Stevens, we asked him what percent of communication is body language. He said 93%, which should help us figure out our teammates. In our Darren Williams film session, we concluded that the best way to figure out our teammates was to observe their body language. Stay away from the things that lower their energy levels and repeat the things that give them energy. If you're a great leader, you should make it your mission to get closer and closer to finding the answer to this question every day. The best do.